But no ceremony has garnered as much controversy as the awards for the Public Policy Institute where Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius will speak in just a few hours. The Catholic pro-abortion Sebelius is one of the architects of the Obama administration's health care bill and its mandate that is stirring a cauldron of discontent with the Catholic bishops over the requirement of contraceptives and other things that run counter to Catholic teachings. Earlier this week, Georgetown's president, John DeJoya, released a statement defending the school's invitation to the secretary, saying, the secretary's presence on our campus should not be viewed as an endorsement of reviews. As a Catholic and Jesuit university, Georgetown disassociates itself from any positions that are in conflict with traditional church teachings. We are a university committed to the free exchange of ideas. But the Archbishop of Washington, D.C., Cardinal Donald Worrell, blasted back, saying, while the explanation of how this unfortunate decision was made is appreciated, it does not address the real issue for concern, the selection of a featured speaker whose actions as a public official present the most direct challenge to religious liberty in recent history and the apparent lack of unity with and disregard for the bishops and so many others across the nation who are committed to the defense of the freedom of religion. And uh, Princeton University Professor Matthew Frank, who was an expert on the area of religion and the Constitution, says this is a microcosm of a much larger issue. Take a listen. It's also a very American story about uh, uh, liberty versus government and uh, freedom versus coercion. Uh, and and uh, sadly, I think uh, Georgetown University has taken the side of government and coercion against liberty and freedom.